Let us consider this uh, problem in which a PDF is given and using this probability density function you are supposed to verify whether P and Q are independent, right? The event P is that P like X lies between 0 and 5 and the event Q is that X lies between 2.5 and 7.5. The least value of uh, x is 0 and the highest value of x is 10. Okay. And your 5 is here. Your 2.5 will be here and 7.5 will be here. What is P? X lies between 0 and 5. So this is your P. Okay. And what is Q? X lies between 2.5 and 7.5. This is your Q. Now you want P intersection Q. Right? I'll tell you why. P intersection Q. This is your P and this is your Q. P and Q is 2.5 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 5. Okay? So here the problem is to test whether... P and Q are independent. P and Q are independent if probability of P intersection Q is equal to probability of P into probability of Q. If you are able to prove this, you can say that P and Q are independent. Okay? Let us consider probability of P intersection Q first. What is P intersection Q? It is the event that X lies between 0 and 5. Sorry, 2.5 to 5. From 2.5 to 5, F of X should be integrated. So, 2.5 to 5, what is F of X? Throughout the range 0 to 5, it is X by 25. So, from 2.5 to 5 also it is x by 25. So 1 by 25 x on integration gives x square by 2. So you have 1 by 25 into 5 sorry 1 by 1 by 50 into 5 square is 25 2.5 square is 6.25 So 25 25 minus 6.25 divided by 50. Your answer is 0.375. Let us have it as 1. The left hand side is over. Let us come to the right hand side. Probability of P and probability of Q. Probability of P is that uh, probability that X lies between 0 and 5. Right? So you should integrate f of x from 0 to 5. From 0 to 5, f of x is x by 25. Right? So, x by 25 dx. 1 by 25, x on integration gives x square by 2. So, 1 by 50, x square is 25, upper limit minus lower limit is 0. So, 25 by 50, that is 1 by 2, 0 0.5. Let us have it as 2. Okay, one more step to go. Let us now compute probability of Q. Q is the event that X lies between 2.5 and 7.5. To calculate this, go to the problem See 2.5 to 5 there is a break and 5 to 7.5. You should break it like this because the function differs in these two ranges. So integral 2.5 to 5 f of x dx plus integral 5 to 7.5 f of x dx. Integral 2.5 to 5 f of x is x by 25 plus integral 5 to 7.5 f of x is 
10 minus x by 25. So, take 1 by 25 outside. On integration, you get x square by 2. 2.5 to 5. Plus, take 1 by 25 outside in the second integral. 10 on integration gives 10x. The range is from 5 to 7.5 minus x on integration gives x square by 2. The range is 5 to 7.5. So this is equal to 1 by 50 into the upper limit on substitution gives 25. The lower limit on substitution gives 6.25 plus 1 by 25. 10 into the upper limit on substitution is 7.5. The lower limit on substitution is 5. Minus 1 by 2. The upper limit on substitution is 56.25. 7.5 square. The lower limit on substitution is 25. So let us simplify this. 25 minus 6.25 divided by 50 is 0.375. Okay. And here plus 1 by 25 into 7.5 minus 5 is 2.5 into 10 is 25 minus 56.25 minus 25 divided by 2 is 15.625. And when I simplify this, 25 minus 15.625 divided by 25 is 0.375 plus 0.375. This is 0.375. So 0.375, two times of it is 0.75. Let us have it as 3. Now, let us try to conclude. See, probability of P intersection Q is equal to 0.375 from 1. Probability of P into probability of Q is equal to probability of P you got in 2 as 0.5 and Q is 0.75. So, 0.5 into 0.75. This you got from 2 and 3. If you multiply 0 0.75 and 0 0.5, you get 0 0.375. Right? So here, probability of P intersection Q is equal to probability of P into probability of Q, which implies P and Q are independent.